Good evening, compañeros. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> um, ya casi empiezo a dormirme. No. <laughs> Es que como acabo de comer y cuando como y me siento, como que, pues sí, o sea, como que va bajando un sueñito, va a cuesta superarlo. Así que yo espero que no. A la teacher no lo hace, no, no deja que no se duerma. <risa> ya me va a estar escuchando la teacher. Ah, Definitely, that is true, that is true. <risa> There is no way for you to go sleep. Thank you, teacher. <risa> Drink coffee. <risa> Green tea for okay. more, more uh, a lot of coffee uh, durante el día sería como during the day you mean during, during the day a lot of coffee o sea mucho café okay so during the day you drink a lot of coffee so how many cups many cups yes How many? How many how, cups do how you many cups drink? Do, mm -hmm. do, 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 do you drink? Do you drink? Okay. Mm -hmm. How many? How many, Angela? How many cups? Um, One, two, three, four. Um, three, three, three cups. Three cups. Yes. Yeah, it's it's a lot. So in my case, I drink like two. Sometimes three, but normally it's just two, one in the morning and one cup in the afternoon before class. <laughs> in the morning, okay. uh, two, for me, two cup coffee and con el almuerzo. <laughs> with, uh, with lunch, with, with lunch. breakfast, and also with lunch and with the dinner. One cup. Okay. Yes. Okay, I see, I see. So if you drink coffee, so I don't think so that you will be sleeping. Okay, because coffee, it's energy. Well, it depends, right? Because uh, there are some people that they get sick if they drink too much coffee, okay? But if you don't get uh, sick, so that's nice. Um, let's see, we are going to start, um, my goodness, we are just eight and the rest, some of them, they put it in the chat, right, that they are coming late. So I don't know what happened with the rest, but let me, let me open right here, their uh, presentation, let's not open. I don't know what happened. It was open and now it gets closed. And let me see the attendance. Yes, I have it here. And uh, well, what day is today, uh, Darwin? Today is Tuesday. Today is, one more time. Tuesday. Tuesday, okay, Tuesday. Today is a uh, Tuesday, okay, there you go, Tuesday. Okay, nice, it is Tuesday. And uh, let's see who, what's today date? Uh, Jancy, Lisbeth, what's today date? Uh, today is nine, November 20th. November what? 23. November 20. Sí. 23. Sí. Third. Third. Ah, Third. 23. Okay, there you go. 23. Eso lo mencionamos ayer, ¿verdad? 23. Okay, there you go. Today is Uh, uh, September, I'm um, September, my goodness, November the 23rd, okay? Tuesday, November the 23rd, okay? Nice, welcome, Osmin, welcome, Mayra, 
En este momento estoy en una pequeña reunión, pero sigo de estar conectado. Ok, ok, no problem. Go ahead, go ahead, no problem. Osme. Uh, my goodness, Nelson, you are back. <laughs> Uh -huh. Teacher. Nelson, good evening. Good evening. What happened to you, Nelson? Ya dijimos que íbamos a hacer una, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Un, una penalización porque no había venido usted con su background. Okay. No, teacher. Uh, yesterday I had in, in team working in my house and I not can in connecting with, with me. Ah, okay, okay. So, but you don't have to work late, or you do? Sorry? You have to work really late? Or that was an special occasion? Uh, yes, a special occasion. Because uh, what is a danger, because uh, in the house, uh, in, in all, all night, in, in the rats, and all night in the mm -hmm. all people my family is is terrible uh, no sleep all night because in the rat uh, all moment in out in the house uh, okay. in the yesterday uh, i i i work in 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 clothes in in in, in place where where the rats in introduce and uh, the house my yeah. goodness yeah uh, and that was for, kind for, of hard <laughs> for team i not can in in, in connecting because i work in, 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 in correct it is in the rat in blocker okay yeah. okay sorry no problem no problem nelson so we really miss your backgrounds okay that's that's real that's for real okay so nice thank you Mayra for being here thank you for the camera Sulma I don't see your camera my goodness Darwin what happened what's going on Darwin what are you doing with the camera off come on oh my god Darwin hmm. excuse me teacher Darwin, I can't believe it. You are always with the camera. And today you are turning it off the camera. What happened, Darwin? Se está haciendo rebelde. Darwin, no, no, no. <laughs> In this moment, I get out. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, so please, please. Uh, Rafael, what's going on with your camera, Rafael? Thank you, Good evening, nice. Teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Rafael. Nice. Um, let's see. Nice, Adri. You are here. Okay. Thank you, uh, Rosa Elena. Nice. Did you drink coffee, Rosa Elena? Yes. You already I'm, drink I'm, coffee. I'm already drink coffee. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're ready for the class. Yes. Ada Patricia, welcome. Nice to have you here. And now we are. 13, 13 participants, okay? So I'm going to start with the attendants like always, and then we are going to continue, okay? So uh, hopefully uh, you remember what we learned yesterday, right? About the, about the clause, the adverbial clause, okay? So today we are going to continue with something similar, but it's also a little bit different, okay? But first, um, Okay, and uh, Michelle says it's in the job. So uh, right now we are going to pass the attendance, okay? So please um, let me know if you are here. So today is uh, Tuesday the 23rd. So Ada Patricia. Present. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie. Present. Thank you, Adri. Um, Anna Michelle, 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 no la he visto, no, um, Angela, present teacher, good evening, good evening, Darwin, Michelle is a present teacher, who, 
Ana Michelle. Ana Michelle, uh -huh. and oh. mes message. Uh -huh. My goodness, my goodness. Oh, yeah, it, she is in something in her job, right? Thank you, thank you, Ana Michelle. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, Darwin, <laughs> my goodness. Uh, Flor de Maria, Flor de Maria, Flor, 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 no la he visto. No. Uh, then we have Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Thank you, Gloria. Now you are there. Nice, 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 nice. So then we have uh, Lourdes, 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 um, Beatriz. Lourdes, Lourdes, no. Uh, Margarita. Lourdes escribió en el grupo de WhatsApp donde dice que está eh, indispuesta, o sea, está enfermita. Ah, ok. Yo creo que ella también es de los que dijo que iban a ingresar así como que un, un poquitín tarde, no sé. Algunos pusieron por ahí eso. Ok. So, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Lourdes. Margarita. Mayra. Present teacher. Thank you, Mayra. Uh, Nelson. Present teacher. Nelson, thank you. Okay. So, Ophelia Aureliana. Hey, teacher. Thank you, Ophelia. Then we have Osmin. Present teacher, present. Thank you. Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Elena. Present. Nice. Sandra Gladys. No. Sandra Gladys. No. Then we have Susana Carolina. No. Jancy Lisbeth. Present. Thank you. Sulva. Present. Nice. Thank you. Now I see Flor. Flor de Maria. Good evening. Good evening. Now you are here. Nice. Okay. So do I mention all of you? I guess. Yes. Oh, goodness. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, Michelle, it's there. Nice. Okay. So we are going to start. So I don't know if you work in the platform. Okay, probably yesterday night or today during the during the day, right? So remember that there are some parts that you need to uh, do, like a comment, or that you need to do, like um um a sentence or answer a question, okay? That's like uh, talking or activity part that we have besides the exercise that you have in the platform. So please uh, don't forget that part. So uh, let's do like an, a small recap, okay? So we are about to start with the uh, new presentation for today, but uh, we will see if we remember the information that we discussed yesterday. So let's see who, let me see right here. Uh, Rosa Elena, please uh, tell us what is, a, what is a closed? Did you remember? In what a few is words, a In a few words that I understand is, that a close is, is oh, what can I explain? Mm -hmm. Is something, something, um, yeah, is something that, that, that we use in the sentences mm -hmm. to, that, to, to show, to show, can I say to show, to show that, uh, oh my God, 
that something is happen or an action? I don't know. I don't know. Is the okay. Way okay no problem no problem so uh remember that we mentioned right obviously we are uh learning about the adverbial uh clauses right but in order for us to know the we have adverbial clauses so we need to know first what is a closed okay so y dijimos que era como cláusula right si lo traducíamos yo les dije que Es una oración, okay? Es lo que normalmente we know as a sentence, right? So, pero la clause, it's a sentence, but it's a little bit more complex, okay? So we say that a sentence can be um, something very simple, like I am a teacher. That's a sentence, but that is very basic. But a clause will be like a, two sentences uh, together, or a sentence that is uh, more specific or with more details, with more vocabulary, okay? So then we have the adverbial clauses, okay? That we say that the adverbial clauses um, are the ones that have some words, okay, that we can, a recognize to identify which one is the adverbial clause. Uh, let's see, Ada, Patricia, did you remember which ones are the words that we can identify in the in the sentences to uh, make sure? Oh, and say, oh yeah, this is the clause. This is the adverbial clause. Um, I don't know. Um, before. Before, okay, that is one after, before, after, um, seems, seems, okay, mm -hmm. nice. What else? Mm, many, no. Mm -hmm. So remember that there are a uh, difference, right? So I told you after, before, since, until, whenever, while. Okay, so that is um, the ones that I told you. And in the book, we have before, after, uh, seems, and while. Okay, so we mentioned that we will be able to identify the adverbial clause with the uh, those words, right? Those expressions that um, we will be able to see, right? So we will be able to see which one is the adverbial clause. So then the other part that we learned yesterday was uh, like transfer the clause into a phrase, okay? So that's what we did yesterday, right? So learn how to transfer an adverbial clause into an adverb phrase, okay? So in the la adverbial clause is como redundante. Y la adverb clause es como más directo, o sea, es como, ya he escuchado eso que dice, mire, que usted habla bien redundante, quiere que le está dando vueltas a lo, a lo mismo, right? So, algo así es la clause, ok, redunda en lo mismo, entonces lo que hacemos es con, uh, convert that, that adverbial clause into an adverb phrase is make it simple, ok, para que no esté redundando. So how we create that, how we do that, how we complete that process, very simple, okay? So we did the exercise uh, yesterday, right? So first we need to identify the two sentences. We need to identify which one is the adverbial uh, clause. Then we need to uh, see the subjects in the two sentences. We need to validate if it is the same subject right if it is the same subject we remove it we erase the subject and if we have a normal verb okay so what we do is put the verb in the ing form but if we have a verb plus a form of b okay so we also remove it we also erase the b now what happens if we have different subjects so we say that if we have different subjects in the two sentences that we have together, we are not able to 
uh, convert the uh, sentence or that clause into a phrase. Okay, so, si se acuerdan, eso fue lo que vimos ayer. So, Nelson, uh, you were not here. So, ahí en el, en el libro, en el manual está eso también, para que lo puedan um, double check, double check, okay? So, let me see right here. Okay, so we are going to start with this. Oh my goodness, I'm not sharing the screen. Let me share the screen. Okay, yeah, you can see the screen right now. Okay, so we will end, my goodness, today we are going to end the, num the unit number one. So ahora terminamos la unidad uno, okay? So tomorrow we are going to start lesson number two, okay? So this is a review and practice. So review, as ya vimos que es un review, un recap, right? So that's what we are doing right now, doing a, a recap about what we learned yesterday, right? So I guess that we were able to get the idea, okay? So probably at the beginning yesterday, you were kind of frustrated, kind of confusing, but at the end, I guess that we get the idea, we get the point, and now you know how to uh, do the process from a uh, clause to a phrase, to a phrase, okay? So let's see, this is something that we have in the book, okay? Remember that the book is, mandatory for us to use it, okay? So we don't have another action. So we must go with the book. So remember that in the unit number one, we are talking about product development, okay? So we are talking about that, okay? Last week, you create a, a new product. So you think in everything, details, characteristics, prices and everything, right? To develop a new product. So right now, what we are doing is trying to analyze, test if the product that we have, it's uh, working, okay? If the product that we have work, okay? So look uh, the activity right here. It says uh, your, your term, right? So we are going to create groups and we are going to decide on, on a new product can be the same, okay? Mm, well, no, nah, because if we think in the same uh, product that you launched last week, so we need to get the same groups and I will create uh, the groups randomly. So you, that means that you can decide on a new product, okay? Service can be a product, can be a service from your company, make launch, to the market, okay? The same story, thinking something that can be affordable, can be useful, can be uh, easy to get, easy to create it, okay? Thinking something, okay? And it says brainstorm, uh, useful questions to get information related to each of the stages of the as what analysis, run the SWOT analysis, and based on the results, discuss whether the ideas for the new product service or potential to move to the next step in the, in the product development cycle. So what we are going to do, this is the famous FODA, right? The famous FODA in Spanish. Creo que ya muchos lo conocen, es muy famoso, right? El FODA es un tipo de evaluación, un tipo de proceso que se hace para validar Eh, un trabajo, un equipo, un producto, okay? So based on the, on the FODA or based on the SWOT in English, that means strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. That's what we are going to do. So in a few words, thinking a product, okay? So thinking a product or a service, okay? So, and you are going to list at least one, two, three, the must, okay? No es que va a poner un montón de strengths, un montón de witnesses. Just uh, two 
mínimo two, máximo three, ok? For each, ok? Para usted hacer un brainstorm, ok? Together in the group and you are going to decide, right? What will be the product, ok? What will be the characteristics? I don't know if we are clear in this part. Yes. Ok, mire, o, o, o se me están durmiendo o no me quieren hablar ahora. Yes, teacher. <risa> vaya, pues, vaya, pues, no, no se me duerma, Daro. Pues. Estoy concentrándome para entenderle, teacher. Ah, ok. <risa> <risa> y capto okay. poco, pero ahí okay. estoy. <risa> ok, ok. So, oops. So, we will do the, 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 the adverbial, um, I'm sorry, we will do the, the fodder, right? The S, what? Ok, so piensen en algo, un service, un product, y saquenle ahí las ventajas, opportunities, uh, retos que podemos tener, right? So, uh, let me create the groups, and we are right now 17. My goodness, where are the break rooms? Oh, it's right here. So we are going to create three groups only. Okay, three groups only. And it will be some groups of five, and there is one for six, I guess. Sí, queda uno, no, cinco, cinco, cinco. Okay, estamos ahí, five for each. So, I will give you five minutes, okay, rapidito. Piensen en algo y empiecen a sacar uh, strengths, opportunities, and uh, treats, okay, for the product or the service, okay? Remember that what we are trying, it's to like an evaluation, right? About the products, okay? Opportunities can be, it is expensive. For example, it's not uh, something that can be affordable for everyone or that is not for young people. I don't know, depending on the product, okay? So I will give you five minutes only, okay? For you to uh, create the list. And as soon as uh, you get the uh, list, so we are going to go back to the main room and you are going to explain uh, your uh, analysis, right? The one that you just create with the group. So let me open the rooms right now. We're going to make what about product? We're going to make the swap. Swap. Rose, uh -huh. this profession. What? What do you think in the product or service? Uh huh. What about me? Uh huh. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, I don't think in the moment, but um, when this. 
servers is uh, uh, in the bank in the the presta prestamo. I don't know the, the word. What did you mean? It? What did you What do you do? The prestamo. Agent the prestamo. I I don't know the word. Mm. Teacher, what do you do? The prestamos. Rose? Uh -huh, well, but, but, uh, Agent but, de Prest, una agencia de préstamo, de presta de service, and the yeah, people. Yeah, okay, but. Let um, me find, could be a, a service. Uh -huh, yeah. Um, maybe, could be, um, service of internet quizás ofrecer yes. mejoras ok, no problem uh, teacher, uh, the blog in the, the share the, the, the screen sí, pero, pero la necesidad de ir a trabajar you need to share the screen uh, the share compartir Ajá, la you pantalla need, you, you need, you need you can, to share the screen you can share no, I can't. You ah. can you need to share the screen. Ah, now you yeah. can do it. Now yeah, yeah, you yeah. can do it. Mm -hmm. It's analysis before. What is the, is the product or the service? Yeah, but that is, that is in Spanish, Nelson. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> stream. Yeah. It's, it's, it's stream. It's stream. It's stream. Yeah. It's stream. Yeah. It's... Before. You think in the in the, the product? Uh -huh. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Wait, wait. Yeah. Wait. No sé, si, si, a la Patricia, no sé qué, para avanzar rapidito, fast, fast. Eh, eh. Eh. No, yo decía, este, quizás, a, eh, ofrecer un servicio de internet más óptimo. No sé. For me no hay problema. I I I know I know the, the our service. I work in the area. No problem. Rose? What do you maybe think? could it be maybe a a delivery full service? Mm. Nowadays is very useful online uh, delivery service. Full? Mm. It's good. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. But 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 it, 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 this service is more competition. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. The, yeah. That that service nowadays have more opportunities but the weaknesses for me is the time the time uh, that that they arrive they arrive very delayed in my case i call ugo one one time and the the food arrives two two hours late yes yeah okay. for example the strengths could it be uh -huh. uh, the demand, uh, how do you say the demand? The demand nowadays. Demand. La demanda, la demanda, la fortaleza, the, the strength to be a, a successful delivery company nowadays is the, the, the demand. More people need this for call. I need, I need food. I don't know. I, I think. Quickly. Okay. Yes. Q? No. Q? Q? K. No. Q. U? Y? E? Ah. No. Missing the, the letter. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. C. Okay. 
K, K, C, C, no, C, K. Ajá, no, L, G, G. No, no, why, 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 no, no, I get, why, oh my God. Sí, 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 Mm. Yeah. yeah, five dollars. Yes. Some some companies tell us, yeah, but it it has a cost of five dollars. Oh my god, five dollars <laughs> additional for the food. I uh, think that. Yeah. If I call Hugo, I prefer call directly to the Pizza Hut because the Pizza Hut, uh, yeah, I I I don't pay. It's free. Yeah. Only, only, no, um, only, uh, only no, propine, uh, propine, no, the weaknesses are the 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 cost, the additional cost that you had to pay. Additional. Uh -huh, the additional cost that you have to pay for the service. Additional, additional. 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 Yeah, it's missing a uh, double D, I think. No, additional cost. Additional cost that you have to pay. No, that, that you, no, add you, that you, yeah. Additional cost that you have to pay for the for the for the delivery and the time uh, the time uh, delayed delay mm. the delay the layer. Mm -hmm. Right. Ahora vamos con las fortalezas u oportunidades. Ajá. Uh -huh. Strange, strange, strange. Una oportunidad. Con las oportunidades. Ah, va. Oportunidades, oportunidades. Mm. Ok. Una. Fortaleza puede ser una marca reconocida. Ahora ya vamos por las oportunidades. Ya pusimos dos witnesses. Sí. Una oportunidad es... Mejor. Mm, que el país... Con ¿Cómo? productos innovar con no sé, como el menú, no sé. Porque podría ser no sé. Y que el país tenga este libre competencia, o sea que no sea un país. Eh, Así monopolizado, sino que... que Una pues, oportunidad hay... puede ser convenios con otras marcas, con otros proveedores, podría ser. 
Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, una fortaleza podría ser que como hay bastante competencia se puede copiar las buenas prácticas que hacen los competidores. Lo demás. Ajá. Si ven que está funcionando algo, eso se puede copiar. Se me ocurre que podría ser. Eso mercado. no se llama bench marketing. No. Que es como bench market, exacto. Pongamos bench marketing. Ahí <ríe> uh -huh. pongamos. Entonces podría ser eh, expansión a nuevos mercados, por decirlo. Expansión a los mercados, ¿cómo? A nuevos mercados. Ah, una oportunidad. Uh -huh. Expandirse a nuevos mercados. Expand into new markets. Expand, ¿qué? Expand into new markets. Into new... Esa sería una oportunidad. Ok. Vale. Solo nos faltan las eh, strengths. Strengths. Fortaleza. Una fortaleza. Podría ser que tiene un producto único. O diferente. ¿Sí? O sea, decir que se o tiene un menú, puede ser. un menú único ¿Qué? o innovador. Ajá. Uh -huh. No es único. Único. Oh. Único. A menu. menú. Inno uh -huh. Innovative menu. Menu. Uh -huh. menu. Uh -huh. menu. Uh -huh. menu. Uh -huh. Otra strange. Que el personal esté bien capacitado. Excelente. Excelente atención. Yo creo que por eso no me escuchaban. <risa> Excel, excelente servicio hacia el cliente. El cliente. Ajá. ¿Cuándo va? Excelente servicio al cliente. Excelente servicio al cliente. Sí. ¿Sí? Okay. Um, yep. So we are in the main room, so I have to stop the rooms because uh, time is running, right? So, but the last, the group where I was, they were in the last uh, part, but so we will see what we have, okay? So I don't know if uh, all of you are going to present your uh, presentation or just one. So it's up to you, right? 
So let's see. Um, Adriana Martinez, your group. Okay, I don't know who is your group, but let's see. Okay. That. All right. Yeah, uh, okay. uh, tell us what is your product, okay? Mm -hmm. So a little bit in order for us to know um, details and then you can start with the strengths. If you want, I will share the, the screen for you to see the, the little chart right here. Okay, go ahead, Nancy. Okay. Uh, we we product is Mexican food or restaurant Mexican food, and and the uh, treats um, increase uh, in raw material price and the competence mm -hmm. and the uh, weaknesses and uh, rejection of fast foods and new sanitary requirements. And the opportunities, a bunch bench marketing and expand into new markets. And the last, a strength. A strength, a, a unique and innovative menu, and the excellent customer service. Okay, I like the strength, the strengths, customer service. That is important in a business, especially in this one. You say that it's just like a Mexican restaurant, right? Like a Mexican restaurant. So here in El Salvador, we really love Mexican food. I don't know why, but if you see Mexican food in El Salvador, it's like, like, mm, well, pupusas are like 100% famous, right? But Mexican food is like 80%. A lot of people, they eat tortas, tacos, yeah. right? Burro and, and all of that, right? So we really love uh, Mexican food. And um, we do have a lot of Mexican restaurants, if you see. We have many, many in the market, but the one that you are going to create, so that is uh, something extra. It will give you an, an, an innovation, okay? Something besides what we already have in the other restaurants, okay? So that's good, okay? So obviously we need to see the, the opportunities, right? Like, for example, uh, one of the opportunities can be that there are many Mexican uh, restaurants, right? So you need to be very creative in order for you to have something different, okay? I don't know if you uh, pay attention to that, but that is uh, something that I'm always paying like close attention. Que siempre, siempre alguien que vende algo que ya se, se vende, pero crea algo que le pone algo diferente, e eso se vende. Okay? So yo puedo vender, qué sé yo, pupusas, right? Típico que se vende en El Salvador, right? Uh, but if you create something different, just add like an extra in the in the product, so you will sell it. Okay. Así es como han surgido las pupusas de de pollo, de pescado y todo eso, right? Que la gente ha inventado, pero es que esa es la idea, innovar. Okay. Pupusas de camarón, pupusas de jaipa. Pupusa de costilla, pupusa, eso no la han inventado. <risa> pupusa de, ¿cuál ha comido usted, Angela? No me duerma, sí, Angela. De ajo, de, costilla. De, ajo, de, ajo. De, de jalapeño, me encanta. De jalapeño, pupusa, eh, ¿ya han probado la pupusa de guía? Pupusa eh, de guía. Sí, y también hay, no sé si han probado las pupusas que la hacen en lugar de la masa de maíz, hacen la de papa y de guineo. La no, masa. No. no. En Santa Tecla hay un lugar que hacen las pupusas en lugar de masa, es el, es el guineo o es la papa. 
Mm, ok, no, no, no sabía, pero bueno, ahí está el toque, le aseguro que se llena ese lugar. Sí se llena y son muy buenas. Ok, muy ahí está diferente. la creatividad, sí. right? So, lo que estamos analizando de un product development, ser creativo. Ok, okay. Eh, pupusas de que han probado ustedes, de cochinito, de ayote, la de papelillo, mola, la de papelillo. <risa> pero sí hay de papelillo, no sé qué es, pero así le dicen, de papelillo, de guilla, de cochinito, de... ¿Qué más tenemos? Pupusas de... De mora, ayote. De, de mora, de ajo, de ayote. De zanahoria también. De ¿no? zanahoria, ajá, de zanahoria. Y, y no han. Loca. La, la loca. <risa> Esa loca lleva hasta tierra. Tierra. De todo, <risa> de todo lleva. <risa> Pero son las más buenas. Esas. Son. son más buenas. Ajá. Yo vi que estaban inventando, no sé si en el locuilta. La pupusa de mango, de, de ¿Sí? fresa, con queso y eso, right? De, so, piña. de piña. Darwin, usted come pupusa de piña. Aquí. La probé, la probé, pero no me gustó. Ok. Eh, la de jocote, um, he escuchado también yo. Jocote. De jocote, imagínense. <risa> pupusa de. No sé, hay que inventarnos una, no sé, no sé pupusa de... En Santa Ana hay pupusas de carne, carne de red. Sí, ya si hay de pollo, hay de carne, uh -huh. eh, de pescado, de pescadito, de camarones. De camarón, es cierto, es que todo le metemos pupusa a nosotros. Hay pupusas al pastor. Ah, Sí, es de cerdo. Buena es. Se de oye rico. De, de chocolate también. La probé. De chocolate. Sí, vi un reportaje de Suchitoto. En Suchitoto creo que estaban haciendo unas pupusas de chocolate. Uh -huh. Yo he visto unas, pero creo que no sé si en redes sociales las he visto. Unas pupusas de colores. Hay eh, morada, verde, amarilla, celeste. No sé, me imagino que el sabor debe de ser. La, la pupusa esa de guineo que le digo es como, se ve como negra y, la, y cuando uno la ve, no da, bueno, como nunca la ha comido, ¿verdad? Se uh -huh. ve raro el color, pero es bueno el sabor. Sí, pues la papa es como la, una tortita de papa. Ah, pero en el caso de la de guineo, como el guineo tiende a ser el verde, se hace como negro. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bueno, ya nos estamos quedando cortos para inventar otra pupusa. Nosotros está hay no, no, que no. pensar, no sé pensar qué. En una. una pupusa. Uh -huh. I don't know. So, continue. My goodness, estamos uh -huh. hablando de pupusas, ¿no? Sigamos. So, Sigamos pupusas. <risa> sí, no, no, that was too much. Uh, let's see, Nelson, Nelson Edgardo. Uh, I don't know who was your group. Okay, in, in my groups, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and the home delivery is a topic. Okay, tell us. Well, I don't know yes. if you will explain, but go ahead. Okay, and the and the strength. Is what is what is the product? One more time, I'm sorry. Home delivery. Food delivery. Food delivery service. Okay, delivery. food delivery. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes, in strength, it's a more demand in service quickly. Mm -hmm. the weaknesses, additional. Okay, uh, additional cost that you pay for delivery and the time delay. Mm -hmm. So uh, the price, how we say the price? That would be fee. Okay, ya han escuchado la palabra fee? Un fee es un... No, fee is the, is the help. No, fee, the... fee, fee, fee. Un fee no. es un costo, right? Usted me está diciendo el costo. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so you better say fee. Okay, el fee es un cargo, es una... 
un cargo adicional, por ejemplo, the, the delivery extra ones. Payment. Oh, is there okay. is an extra payment. That's the oh, way okay. we call it fee. Oh, okay. okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you uh... F E E? I like that. Ah, F E E. Ah, okay. You can okay. search the word okay. fee. Mm -hmm. Ese es un eh, un pago adicional, ¿verdad? Usted, el producto vale tanto, pero yo quiero que me lo vengan a dejar aquí a la casa. Entonces, ah, le cobramos dos pesos más y se lo llevo. So that is the fee, ¿ok? Ok. And then, next, opportunity. Eh, no way because pandemics, more people is calling for requests, food or house, includes at work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's right. Now delivery. It's very famous. Y antes uno tenía que ir a comprar, va y a ley. Uno, nowadays, todo le llevan a la casa. Todo yeah. le llevan a la casa. My goodness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is a nice <laughs> business. Un, okay. un delivery package company. Mm -hmm. Okay. After that, uh, the treats, mm -hmm. more competition, a more cycle accident, insecurity. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm not placed. Is that? Okay, yeah, that's true. Okay. Nowadays, motorcycles are everywhere. So, in aquellos tiempos, se habían motos, right? But it was like now the way that we have it right now. Now it's common to see a lady in a motorcycle, and many, many people it's using motorcycles because they work at delivery people, right? Or different business but we have more people in motorcycle that it's working on just delivery things right mm -hmm. nice okay perfect nice uh let's see flor de maria i don't know if we have the group your group mm -hmm. okay teacher vamos a presentar Okay. Okay, and the product is magic body mm -hmm. and darwin you start please okay our product is the magic body rich white potential market and innovation item uh, lord continue please the witnesses a little capacity to manufacture and low budget. Mm -hmm. Treats, customer, consumer retention price in massive competition. Okay, opportunities to create strategic alliance with Jim Short their market. Okay, okay, nice. Okay, yeah, this is a nice product. Thank, Thank you, Osmin. <laughs> this is a nice product. But uh, yeah, okay, you know what is budget? Ahí lo pusieron el, el equipo budget. Saben todos que es budget, Jansi? Presupuesto. Okay, ese es el budget, right? So, como que usted me diga, mire, el budget. Para mí en el mes es de, no sé, 50 dólares para ir a, no sé, a pasear. De ahí lo demás tengo que pagar aquí, tengo que pagar allá, tengo que pagar el préstamo del préstamo del otro préstamo, el préstamo que hice para el préstamo. Así somos nosotros, right? No, ni no, ni no. Yo le tengo miedo a las deudas. Ok, but I, I know people que dice así. Tengo que pagar el préstamo que hice para pagar el préstamo que tenía con el otro préstamo. Ay, my goodness, yo no duermo si estuviera una deuda así. 
<laughs> ok, so that's the budget. Ok, el budget es lo que usted tiene como presupuesto, right? So to spend on something, ok, so that's your budget. Ok, yeah, nice product, ok, solo que en este producto, bueno, no, clientes le van a salir y de montón, ok. So habría que ver los costos, ¿va? porque si el producto es caro, pues sí. Pueda que les hagan ahí la competencia, salga el, uno más barato y les copien la, la idea. Porque eso pasa también cuando uno pone un business, siempre va a salir otro con, haciendo ahí la competencia. Right? Y a veces es competencia ilegal, no sé cómo le dicen eso, una palabra ahí. Okay. Desleal. 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 Okay. Desleal. Ahí está. Desleal. Ahí está. So, but that's why every time that you are thinking in something, you have to think in everything. Okay. Muchos productos o negocios fracasan por eso. Porque solo dicen, ah, yo voy a vender pupusa. Pero, ¿qué es la especialidad? ¿Qué es la diferencia? ¿Por qué voy a comprar ahí si hay pupusas en todas las esquinas? Okay, so that is what we need to think, okay? So we finished the unit today, okay? So ya no vamos a hablar de product development, pero we continue talking about products. If you see in the book, those are the topics. But right now I have to pass the attendance, okay? Just let me, let me see right here. Where is the attendance? Oh, here it is. So let's see, uh, the Patricia. Present. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie. Present. Nice. Anna Michelle. Michelle. Um, Angela de Jesus. Present teacher. Thank you. Darwin. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, Flor de Maria. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Thank you. Um, Joanna Patrixi. Present teacher. Thank you, Shoana. Uh, Lourdes Beatriz. No. Uh, Margarita Stephanie. No. Mayra Melanie. Here, here teacher. Thank you. Nelson Edgard. Present teacher. Thank you. Ophelia Orechana. Here, teacher. Thank you, Osmin Baires. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Rafael Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Rosa Elena. Present. Nice, Sandra Gladys. Sandra, no. Um, Susana Carolina. No. John C. Lisbeth. Present. Thank you. And Sulma Rosaura. Here. Okay. Thank you. So let me share the screen one more time and let's continue. Okay. We have something else right here to do. Um, let me see. Yep. Here it is. So we finished this part and we are going to continue with the next so we have the recap okay right here this is something that we mentioned yesterday yesterday that is reducing the outbreak clauses okay so let's see Mayra, melanie please help us uh with the reading okay just read the information that we have right here please okay reducing adverb clauses an adverb clause clause Mm -hmm. Así se dice, clause. Yeah, closed. Okay. Clause can only be reduced if the subject in both clauses is the same. While she was driving to work and got a call from her boss. While driving to work and got a call from her boss. But not while driving to work, her boss called her. Okay, thank you. So this is a recap, okay? So this is something that we already mentioned and we are going to uh, stop that information, that topic today, okay? So uh, let's see, Angela, help us reading the next example that we have right here, please. 
Yes, teacher. Um, um, right here. Before I, I eat, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Before I ate breakfast, I did 20 minutes of yoga. Mm -hmm. and be Continue. Before eating breakfast, I did 20 minutes of yoga. Okay, perfect. So look, this is the adverb clause. This is the main clause. So we have the little comma. Don't forget the little comma. Okay, I told you that when we have the adverb clause at the beginning, we must put a comma right here. If we have the adverb clause at the end, so as a second sentence, so we don't need the comma, right? So that is something that we mentioned yesterday. So remember in this case, what we need to do is identify the subject. I see that I have the subject I right here. I have the subject I right here. That means that yes, I can remove it. So I remove the subject and I put the ing on the bird instead of eight eating. Okay, and that's it. That's what we learned yesterday, okay? So let's continue. Yay, we have exercise right here. So what we are going to do, we are going to put the verbs in the parentheses into the present perfect, okay? So present perfect, that was the first topic or the first grammar part that we mentioned. So we are going to close with the present perfect with this activity, okay? So. Ya no vamos a ver más, de momento el present perfect. So, there are just uh, 10 sentences and what we have to do is just put in the sentence in the present perfect. So, como usted ya se aprendió la lista de verbos, ya se los puede, right? So, vamos a hacer eso rapidito. So, let me um, set up the groups. So, we are going to recreate the groups because... Um, Recreate, yes, because now we need four groups, okay? So, van a quedar uno de cuatro y dos de cinco, si no estoy mal. So, let me reassign the groups and what we are going to do, uh, just, okay, right here. So, just uh, put the verse in the present perfect form to make the sentence, to complete the sentence, okay? So, are we clear? what we are going to do. Bye. We will have just five minutes or less, okay? Ya los verbos ya se los pueden. Okay, so no le va a costar. So let me open the room, the rooms.
Take them, take his dear friend to the theater. Dear friend to the theater. Okay. Number four. Number four. I, I have a drop, drop, it, drop it. Ed al final. To WP, I think. WP. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, no. Drop. I don't drop. It's a drop it. Drop it. Drop. Drop. Sí, es con dos P, doble P. Yeah. Ah, doble P. Yeah. So, put my book on the floor. Uh -huh. I have drop. Bye. Number five. James. James Hassan. No, I uh, Hassan. Gone to a school. James hasn't gone to, gone to a school today. Como go, gone? Gone. gone. Sí, yeah, go went gone. The, there's go went gone. 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 Yes. Sorry. It's, a, it's, only, it's the only bird that I learned. Go went gone. <laughs> <laughs> To a school today. Mm -hmm. Number six has not gone. I have. I have. I have, have left. left. I have left. I have left. Uh huh. My motorcycle in the garage. Um. ¿Cómo se escribe left? Left. Así tal cual se escucha. L L E F T. Yes. Left my motorcycle in the garage. In the garage. Thank you, my motorcycle. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Seven. Mari has uh, already sing some song. Song. Sing some song. Song. Lo busco. A song. Sing some song. The song con song. U. Uh, song. S U N G. Mm -hmm. song. Sing some song. Mm -hmm. Con U. Yes. Sí. Mm. Miren, Sidney. Ah, no, ¿verdad? Me equivoqué. No es este. No, ¿verdad? No lo veo. <laughs> ah, yo pensé que veía en mí cuando me no, iba a la lista no, de ver. No, solo vemos que se baja. <risa> Ay, lo siento. Adriana solo de baja. <risa> lo siento. Yo pensé que, que veían cuando buscaba los perros. <risa> oh, invisible. <risa> pues sí. ¿Cuál es? Así. Sí. Ocho. 
Has the cat climbed the tree? He climbed, come Climb, climb. Climber. Climb. Vale, número nueve. The Baker. How? So. 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 ¿Cuál es el par participio de Sol? So. 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 Con. Con A o con O. Oh. Oh. So. My parents haven't, ¿verdad? Yeah? Uh -huh. Haven't. Y by both. 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 A new host. Uy. So. Ok, ¿y si las leemos? So okay. we finish, we finish, right? Yes, yes. Ok, so just one group is still mm -hmm. working yes. in the last one. Ok, read it there. The same thing. Te gustan yo ahorita. Ok. <laughs> Peter has written an email to his best friend. Okay. La segunda. Yo. Okay, yeah. The student finish, finished their homework yet. Oh, no. I, it's a pregunta, question. Have the, have the student finished their homework yet? Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, la tres sería... Eh, Tom has taken, mm -hmm. he, permítame. Okay, okay. Uh, welcome back to the main room. Quiero ver, yeah, we are all. Nice, so I guess we finished, okay? I guess there was just one group in the last uh, sentence, okay? But we have uh, one more activity to do it for, for us to do it today. So let me, let me, let me put it right here. 
share the screen and this is what we have. So put the verbs and these sentences into present perfect, but you know that in order for me to create a sentence in present perfect, I need something else, right? It's not just putting the verb in the uh, past participle, right? So we need an auxiliary there. So let's see how we have it, okay? Uh, let's see. Osmin, number one, please help us read the complete and correct sentence number one. Yes. Mm -hmm. It has, right? Mm -hmm. Not email to his best friend. Okay, Peter has write an email to his best friend. Nice, thank you. Uh, yeah. Let's see, the next one will be for, uh, let's see, Ada Patricia. Okay, number second. Um, have the student finished um, their homework yet? Perfect, okay, that's the correct. This is a plural, right? So have, have. Nice, Ophelia, number three. Ophelia. I don't know what happened with Ophelia. Probably she has uh, okay. issues with the connection. I don't see that your camera moving. Hello? Yeah, Ophelia. Hello? Go ahead. Go ahead Hello? Hello? Yes, go ahead. Continue. Okay. Number three. Okay, so she left. So uh, let's see the next one. Nelson, please help us. Number three. You are on mute, Nelson. Sorry. No problem. Tom, Tom. Has has taken his girlfriend to the the Twitter, the Twitter, the Twitter. Okay, Tom has taken. Okay, taken. Nice. Uh, the next one that will be for Gloria Elizabeth, number four. I have dropped my book on the floor. Perfect. I have dropped double P. Right. You so say you have a double P. Nice. Uh, Sulma Rosaura, number five. Uh, James has not gone to a school today. Mm -hmm. Has not gone. There you go. There you go. Joanna Patricia, number six. Joanna Patricia. Si quieres, la digo yo. Okay, go ahead, Ophelia. Okay, I left a many motorcycle in the garage. Okay, motorcycle, right? I have left. I have left, yes. I have left my motorcycle in the garage. Okay, uh, Rafael Ernesto, the next one. Okay. Mm, seven. Mary, Mary has already sent a few songs to her friends. Okay. Mary has already sung, sound, sing, sound, song. Okay. Yes. Nice. Uh, let's see, Darwin. I don't see your camera. Castigado. So uh, let's see, Jancy Lisbeth, number eight. Hey. Has the cat climbed climbed that cell tree? Mm -hmm. Has right. That's the cat is eat right. The cat. Uh, 
Has the cat climbed that tree, that tall tree? Okay, nice. Uh, Flor de Maria, number nine. The baker and sold, have sold all his croissants. Okay, okay. The baker has sold all his croissants. Okay, nice. And the last one, the last one. Um, let's see. Uh, Mayra, help us, please. The last one. Okay, my parents haven't bought a new house. Okay, there you go. So nice. Estamos graduados ya en el present perfect. The only thing is that we don't know the birds. Algunos sí lo decían rápido. Este es el verbo. Búsquelo, búsquelo, porque you don't know the birds. Okay, so and that is something that we need to know the birds. Okay, porque cuando le hagan una pregunta así en Vida real no le va a decir, espéreme, voy a ver cuál es el pasado participio del verbo para contestarle. No, right? So you need to talk, ok? So apréndanselos así, por ejemplo, hasta con música, sin sound song, ok? Hasta chistoso se oye, pero uno se los aprende así, diciéndolo, diciéndolo, diciéndolo. Pero si no lo repaso, so... That, that is the problem, okay? So we need to have the verse. So we will do the last part, okay? Yeah, this is the last one. So we have to answer these questions and so on and so on. But this is the last activity, okay? Look, look this is a conversation, okay? This is a small one. Well, yeah, it is a small conversation between uh, these people right here in the picture. Look, look it says uh, product, product test teams are necessary producers producers to be a follower before deciding to create a new product. The following conversation features a group of managers in a meeting to discuss strategies for testing their new product. Read the conversation, okay? Um, so we have the managers, okay? Estos son los managers de una compañía hablando de este producto, okay? We have Mr. Bellis, we have Mr. Ayala, and we have Mr. Uh, Avila, right? So we have three uh, people right here. So I will read the conversation just one time. Pay close attention in the uh, words that are in bold. So the ones that are in negrita, right? Bold, bold, negrita, bold. So the ones that are in bold, because uh, we have some details right there. So it says, good morning, and trail it to announce we have green light to work on our latest product testing task. So yeah, vamos a ver si new works, okay? Uh, one of the good things I like about working with you, it's the effort you make to do the job well. I agree. I agree with you, Ms. Uh, Mr. Ayala. The efforts uh, these tasks requires are important to take into account. Definitely. Definitely, okay. I have already written, written, I'm sorry, written, I have already written some ideas for a monadic test. So we can discuss them, take a look. Good job, but have you figured out the cost? Figure it out. Esta palabra es un phrasal verb, okay, va unido. Figure it out, figure it out, the cost. Es una pregunta. So, some uh, difficult decisions to make uh, refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Yes, boss. One of the most important factors in this job is managing cost. And I'm good at that. Nice, probably we have new words right here. Remember, every time that we have a new work, please, 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 please write it down, write it down, okay? So do we have new words right here? 
let's 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 do it in order okay vamos a ir en order vamos a leer primero mr Pérez. good morning and trailer to announce we have green light to work on our last last test product testing test so from these two lines and something do we have new works trailer uh to announce trillium okay trillium. what is this so the trillium um, encantado, entusiasmado. Entusiasmado, entusiasmado, pero más que eso, ¿verdad? Estoy como emocionado, emocionado encantado de anunciar, ¿ok? Estoy trailing, que ya no soporto por decirlo, ¿ok? Como cuando usted tiene una, un secreto y lo tengo en la punta de la lengua y está trailing, que ya se le sale, ¿right? So, trailing to announce, we have green lights green light um mm -hmm. what is test do you know what is test 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 como tarea tarea mm -hmm. actividad okay test es un sinónimo de Actividad, ok, actividad, task, ok, una activity, una actividad, un, un, un algo que hacer, ok. So let's see, it says one of the good things I like about working with you all, it's the effort you make uh, to do the job well. So new works on this? Effort. Effort, ok. So the effort, so la... Um, Esfuerzo, right? So, la dedicación. Ok, la dedicación. Que le ponen, dice, para hacer este trabajo bien. Then it says, I'm agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The efforts this task requires are important to take into account. Take into account, tomar en cuenta, right? Take into account. Tomar en cuenta. So then it says definitely, okay, definitely, definitely, I have already written some ideas for a monadic test. So we can discuss and take a look. New works on this? Monadic test, este es un tipo de prueba. Es un tipo de prueba que se llama así, ok, para poder ellos discutir y hablar sobre eso. Eh, ya lo tienen contabilizado, ya lo tienen ahí. Eh, ¿Cómo lo van a analizar el, las ideas del producto? Ok. Then it says, good job, but have you figured out the cost? Some difficult decisions to make refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Fancy, ¿qué es fancy? Um, fancy es something extravagante. No. Mm -hmm. Fancy. Extravagante. Elegante. Elegante. Elegante, ok. Algo, mm -hmm. este, usted puede escuchar que a veces le dicen, hey, este es bien fancy. So fancy. Este no, no come cualquier cosa. Este lo llevan al mercado y le da malestar en el estómago, es fancy, solo puede comer de pollo campero para arriba, ok, so, o oh, usted dice, hey, este es bien fancy, este no viaja en, en bus, este tiene que ir en Uber o en taxi, si va en bus le da, le da mareo, ok, es fancy, no sé, un, una cosa así, right, so fancy es algo delicado, algo así, un, algo, un objeto, una persona, algo así, Uh, piqui decimos, piqui, ajá, piqui. alguien piqui, así todo delicado. <ríe> ¿Qué es eso de figure it out? Figure out. Es un phrase helper, figure it out. Mm. My goodness, Nelson, what happened to you? Ya se está convirtiendo en el árbol de Navidad, Nelson. <ríe> Ay. 
figure it out. Uh -huh, figure it out is the, is the phrase okay. that, that means imagine. Imaginaste ah. el precio o pensaste el precio. Uh -huh. Exacto. Te to tomaste el tiempo para pensar en, para pensar en cuánto va a costar, right? Figure yeah. it out. Es como pensar, tomar en cuenta. Ok, so ocupen los phrasal verbs, ok, no se le quiere decir, mira, pues ya te pusiste a pensar en tal Pero cosa. Pero también, yo lo he escuchado en otro contexto, hablando como de algo de, no me acuerdo dónde lo escuché, uh -huh. como resolver un problema, y decía, figure it out. Ajá, uh, es una uh -huh. alternativa, ok, uh -huh. un camino, figure it out. Figure it Arréglalo, out. o algo así, o... No recuerdo, pero sí en un contexto como matemático. Quien vi, ok, quien vi. Acuérdense uh -huh. que los resuélvelo. Uh -huh. resuélvelo. Exacto, uh -huh. ok. Si usted me dice, mire, fíjese que yo tengo un gran problema, fíjese que le debo al banco, le debo a no sé quién, le debo al vecino, le debo a la niña chepita de la tienda, debo el pan, las tortillas. So, I don't know how you will figure it out, but do it. Ok, yo no sé cómo le va a hacer, pero lo soluciona, right? So, figure it out. And the last one says, yes, boss, uh, one of the most important factors in this job is uh, managing cost. And I'm good at that. I guess we don't have new words there. So my goodness, yeah, we still have time. So look, what we are going to do. I don't know. Let me let me take the screenshot first. I, this is on the, on the book, right? You have it in the book. But just in case I will put it here. I'm sorry, I'm going to stop sharing. And right now we are going to create uh, trios, okay? So we are going to work in uh, trios, okay? Three in each group. So si alguien queda ahí disparejo, ya vamos a ver cómo lo emparejamos, okay? So um, what we are going to do, so you are intermediate, okay? So we are not beginners, we are not basics. So we are intermediate. So we need to uh, use the language, use the language, okay? So what we are going to do in the groups, okay? Obviously you are going to practice the conversation, okay? So you will be three. So one of you, one of you will be Mr. Bellis, then the other one will be the other two, the other guys, okay? So, but I don't know, you can tell me, have you ever listened your voice in English? ¿Alguna vez usted se ha escuchado hablando inglés? ¿Ha tenido el gusto usted de escucharse? Así como dicen, yo mismo, yo mismo. No sé si está bien dicho en español. A mí mismo, a mí mismo. <laughs> Have you ever listened to your voice in English? ¿Alguna yes. have only, you ever? only when record. Yes. Ah, okay. So have I you have ever? An, I have an application to read ah. to read something in English and listen to me. In, okay. I say, oh my God. <laughs> so that you can record your voice. Yes. Okay. So you know what? That is a nice exercise. Okay. Because, créanme que si usted se graba y se escucha, usted dice, wow. Oh my God, that's me. What a shame. Okay, yeah, no, you, I, I sound like a gringo. <laughs> no, tampoco, right? No, no somos gringos, somos even better, okay? So, pero you will listen, okay, how you, how you sound. But if you don't have the, if you haven't listened to your voice or you haven't do it, so usted va a estar diciendo, ay, es que yo pronuncio mal, es que yo me oigo mal, so we need to do it. So what we are going to do, y esto les iba a quedar así como algo de tarea, pero I don't want to have more homework for you because I know that you are really busy, that you are working in the platform and la, 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 okay? So what we are going to do, okay? So you are going to work together and you will practice the conversation, okay? You can practice, I don't know, one time, two times. And uh, then you are going to record, okay, the conversation. And as soon as you have the audio, it will be just one audio, right, per group. So please uh, send it into the WhatsApp group, okay? So in that way, everyone will be able to listen, 
your voice, okay? So that's why you need to pronounce the words correctly, right? So figure it out, okay? No se le vaya a trabar la lengua. Practique el que le toque ese. Figure it out, okay? Es una de las que está quizás como, no difícil, pero una de las palabras ahí que está más eh, traba la lengua. Definitely. No me vaya a decir definitely, okay? No, definitely. Okay, definitely. So then I guess that is uh, material, fancy, uh, managing, latest product, test. So I guess we can do it, okay? So we have 20 minutes. My goodness, in no alcance el tiempo, so we can continue tomorrow. But I guess that 20 minutes is enough, okay? So Practice the conversation just one time, two times, okay? To practice and then record, okay? So, ahí vean ustedes en el grupito entre los tres, quién graba, cómo lo graban, para que quede un solo audio. No me vayan a mandar una cosa pedaciada. Todo en un solo audio, okay? So, just one audio for group, and we will listen, okay? So, y mañana yo voy a andar oyendo ahí sus audios, okay? I'm going to put the headset on, okay? So please do it well. So questions? No. Okay, so let me, let me see right here, break up room. So we have to recreate the rooms because now I need uh, three participants for each group. Let me see, create. Ay, pero aquí tengo algunos que me ponen ahí oyente. Entonces yo no sé si de verdad está ahí o no está. Eh, bueno. Eh, si se da el caso que alguien no está. Bueno, déjenme voy a mover aquí a alguien. Porque en este round three. Bye. So, group number one will be Ofelia, Rafael, and Jancy, okay, you are here. The three of you, you are here. So room number two, we have Ada Patricia, Osmin, and Rosa Elena. So you three are here. So room number three, we have uh, Anna Michelle, Darwin, Joanna Patricia, and Nelson. Nelson and Darwin, I know that you are here. Joanna Patricia, please confirm if you are here. Porque Joana no me contestó hace un momento. Ana Michelle. Yes, I'm here. Ah, okay, so you three, even though Joana, I don't know what happened, but you are three, okay? And the room number four is Angela, uh, Flor de Maria, and Gloria Elizabeth, you three are here. Room number five, it's Adriana, uh, Mayra, and Sulma, you three are here. So let's do it, okay? So I will be moving myself from one group to another one in case if you have a problem with the pronunciation, but uh, practice just one or two times uh, without recording and then the third one ya lo graban, okay? And as soon as you have it, send it in the uh, WhatsApp group, okay? So are we clear? It's clear. Okay, perfect. So let's do it. Please use the pronunciation, okay? If it is a comma, so stop. If it is a period, stop a little bit more, right? So then um, uh, if it is a question and exclamation, so sounds with the um, exclamations and everything, right? So let's open the rooms. Okay. Okay. Who is? 
Um, Who is Sayana. Sorry? You are Mr. Vélez, and I am Mr. Ayala, and Ophelia, Mr. Avica. Okay. Pueden compartir pantalla, no. Vaya, voy a, voy a compartir. Hola. Hola. Sorry. Voy otra vez que se reinicia la. No sé si ha compartido el PDF, no. Sí. Y se ve también el Zoom. No, solo el PDF. Solo el PDF. Ok. ¿Pueden ver ahí? Sí, también se ve la sala. Ah, bueno. Ok. okay. Good morning. I'm thrilled, thrilled to announce we have green, we have green light to work on our last product testing task. One, one of, of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you make do you, the job well. So now I'm holding my mind. <laughs> okay. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The fourth these tasks required are important to take into account. I agree, you listen, you listen, I perform, you market to do, I the host work. Mm. No, definitely. Uh -huh. Desde ahí sería su, su turno, Ofelia. De finally. Pero dejo lo que abra, abra los micrófonos y, y lo pueda grabar así. Con el teléfono pegado al micrófono. Porque ¿Me escucha bien. ahora? Sí, sí, ¿Me sí. Escucha? Podemos hacer la prueba. Ok. Espérame. Hablen fuerte. Darwin. Hello, good evening, people. Nancy. No. Ana Michelle. Hola. Hola, hola. No. Ok. Mi... Okay. Queda bien. Vaya, hagamos okay. una prueba. Demos lectura y dos minutos y estamos listos y lo grabamos. En review. Vaya. You, eh, Darwin, Mr. Vélez. Me, Mr. Ayala. Y Ana Michelle, Mr. Ávila. Son tres, una conversación. Yes. Mr. Vélez, Mr. Ayala, Mr. Ávila. Yeah. Okay, ¿quién soy yo? Mr. Ayala o Mr. Vélez. Mr. Vélez. 
no, miserable. Ah, no. Sí, miserable. You start. Okay. 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 Good morning. Okay, I start. Good morning. I try to announce we have great life to work on our lesson. Product testing task. One of the good team I love about working with you are is the effort you make you do your work. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The effort these tasks requires are important to take into account. Definitely, I have already written some ideas for a monadic test. So we can discuss them. Take a look. Good job. But have you figured out the cost? Some difficult decision to make prefer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Yes, boss. One of the most important factors in this job is managing costs, and I'm good at that. Okay. Oigan la grabación. Solo de prueba. Oh my goodness. So I don't know if you finished the record. So algunos estaban ahí regrabando. Ay, qué bonito suena. Se volvía a grabar y se volvía a grabar. 
Eh, así no que van a terminar. Ay, qué bonito lo dije. Y se volví a grabar. <laughs> ok, so I don't know if you finish, ok? So uh, I don't have any audio yet. No tengan miedo, mándenlo al grupo, mándenlo, no tengan miedo. Sin miedo al éxito. Ok, so send it please. And um, that is something that help a lot, ok? So no lo hago para que usted diga, ay, qué miedo, right? Lo hago para que usted se escuche, ok? Y se emocione y diga, oh my goodness, that's me talking in English. Oh my God, it sounds like a native, ok? So uh, we, I have three minutes, I have to pass the attendance. Let me see what is the attendance right here. Okay. So, Ada Patricia. Here. Thank you, Adriana. Present. Michelle. Angel. Present. Thank Present, you. Present, teacher. Thank you, Darwin. Present, teacher. Nice, Flor. Present. Nice, Gloria. Here. Nice, Lourdes. Uh, Margarita, no. Mayra. Nice, Mayra. Nelson. Present teacher. Thank you, Ophelia. Here teacher. Nice, Osmin. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafael. Present. Nice, Rosa Elena. Present. Nice, Sandra Gladys. Susana Carolina. Chancy Lisbeth. Present. Thank you, Sulma. Nice. Um, let's see. Gloria Elizabeth. Okay, Gloria Elizabeth, please give me just a couple of minutes at the end. Okay, so this is your turn. Okay, so ahí me espera Gloria un ratito. Ok, so then the rest, creo que ya empezaron a caer algunos ahí. I have one, two, three audios, ok. So please share the audios, ok. So vamos a ponerlos mañana aquí, ok. So, uh, <laughs> sí, aquí los voy a poner, ok. So, uh, see you tomorrow, ok. You are free to go. Estamos justo a tiempo, wow. Primera vez que terminamos a tiempo. So, uh, yeah, we finish. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank you for coming. And uh, see you tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow is Wednesday. We have classes. So don't forget. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. ¿Cómo es que se llama Adri y su niño? Present. el nombre del niño de Adriana. Matías. Matías, hello Matías, my goodness Matías, you are eating candy. Sí, lo agarró sin permiso. Imagínense, no lo va a dejar, no lo va a dejar dormir. How do you say bombón? How do you say bombón en inglés? Ahí le queda de tarea Adri. Yo soy bombón. Por culpa okay. de Matías, tengo tarea. Sí, por Matías, que dijo bombón. So, ahí está Matías. Okay. David, ¿cómo se dice bombón en inglés? Vaya. Bombón. Bombón. Ok, thank you. Okay. Ay, Gloria. Good night, Matías. Good night. Bye. 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 Take care. <laughs> en matillas. Ah, espérenme, tengo que cerrar este aquí yo. Um, ok, now yes. Ok, Gloria, hoy sí estamos aquí. Eh, le voy a robar unos minutillos nada más de su tiempo. Pero, verdad, lastimosamente no, no hay más tiempo. Solo es este pequeño espacio que tenemos para una conversación así un poco más eh, personalizada. Este, no sé, este, ¿qué tal Gloria Elizabeth? ¿Cómo se siente? ¿Cómo ve las clases? ¿Cómo le ha parecido lo que llevamos hasta el momento? Bueno, mire, eh, su participación especialmente. Eh, sí me ha gustado porque ha sido un poquito más dinámico, ¿verdad? Entonces, esto 
esto de los cuentos a mí me pareció muy bonito, lastimosamente usted me le dio como la continuidad, pero a mí me, me gustó, de hecho imprimió un par de cuentos muy, wow. muy la verdad es que me gustó su idea esto de grabarnos también me ha gustado mucho porque pues no habíamos tenido esa iniciativa, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. de, aparte de, de libro, usted nos está dando cosas nuevas. Y esto es muy bueno, pues, porque no nos quedamos solo con lo que dice el libro. Así Excelente. Que... Sí, no, yo estoy pendiente de eso. Yo les quiero buscar algún librito que que no sea ni muy grueso, pero tampoco que no sea muy básico, ¿verdad? Pero sí, yo, le, yo estoy pendiente de eso, el, voy a ver el fin de semana, me queda un poquito de más espacio, pero sí, se lo voy a compartir y vamos a, vamos a hacer un extra. Eh, pero sí, de una o de otra manera, pues yo trato que ustedes usen el idioma que inventemos aquí a modo de que hablemos y a modo de que usemos el idioma, ¿verdad? Porque solo venir a oír que el maestro habla y habla y habla no es como que muy bueno. A mí me interesa que hablen ustedes, ¿verdad? Que ustedes sientan que sí vamos progresando, que sí participo, si sea bien mínimo leer un pedacito, leer algo, pero participa. No puede, yo digo siempre que el alumno no puede venir a una clase de inglés y no decir nada, ¿verdad? Porque el aprendizaje pues se detiene ahí un bast bastante. Yo creo que ya usted nos conoció, ya, ya vio nuestras eh, fortalezas y nuestras debilidades y nuestras oportunidades, ¿verdad? Entonces uh -huh. eh, ya más o menos nos conoce y ahí es donde yo considero que el maestro nos puede como, tal vez no a nosotros decir, mire esto, lo otro, sino que ustedes nos dicen a nosotros, pues mire, trate de mejorar esto, lo otro. A mí, honestamente, hablar no se me da mucho, o sea, siento que me, me cuesta, pues, mucho. Sin embargo, le, le entiendo lo que usted dice, le entiendo un 70%, 80% Entonces, Sí lo puedo entender, pero hablarlo sí me cuesta. Uh -huh. es, y eso, que... eso es normal, fíjese. O sea, la gran mayoría de estudiantes de inglés siempre dicen eso. Mire, yo le entiendo, yo leo, yo escribo, pero cuando me toca hablar ahí me quedo. Pero uh -huh. es porque no, o sea, no lo hacemos, sino que tenemos como penita, miedo, que me voy a equivocar, es que no sé cómo decir. Y media vez no rompamos esa barrera, siempre se nos va a dificultar, ¿verdad? Sí. Ustedes tienen que hablar. También, ¿sabe qué pasa también con el grupo? Eh, es que sabemos, sabemos tres niveles en este grupo. O sea, no estamos uniformes, entonces hay unos avanzados, unos intermedios y unos que nos hemos quedado. Entonces, para el nivel que estamos, ¿verdad?, por ejemplo, hace un poquito me tocó con un grupo que solo eran dos, pero éramos cuatro, pero solo eran dos personas. Ah, sí, fulana, me engano, no sé qué, solo los dos. Opinaba y no, solo ellos dos. ¿Verdad que sí? No? Entonces, como le digo, eh, estamos como así. Eh, uh -huh. En lugar de apoyarnos, mm, solo son dos los que se dirigen, los dos mejores o los dos que pueden más. Entonces, no podemos opinar los que nos hemos quedado atrás. No hay, como le digo, yo, yo pienso que deberíamos de, de tener como la oportunidad para estar todos, pues, bueno. Y si sí. hay unos que están avanzados, pues que estén en un nivel más alto, pero, pero ahí es donde se corta uno, que ya no, ya no dice nada, porque pues, sí. No lo uh -huh. Sí, sí, no, eso sí, sí, tienes razón. Pero sí, la idea es que todos estemos en la misma página, mire. Eh, siempre va a haber gente pues, que, que, que más hablan team, que, que más participa y eso, pero yo por eso a veces yo no lo hago de voluntario, porque si yo lo pido voluntario, ya sé quién me va a responder. ¿verdad? Eso, porque así nos hace participar a todos. Uh -huh, exacto, yo normalmente fulanito y hasta les digo, pero quiero ver a quién no le he preguntado, o sea, yo ando buscando a quién, porque, o sea, yo quiero que 
todos participen por igual, right? So, pero sí, pues muy buena observación y, y, y sí, la verdad no sé si todos los que están en el grupo han empezado desde enero, o sea, yo hasta ahorita los, los conozco, pero no sé si ya vienen trabajando juntos desde el inicio o se han ido incorporando. Eh, del inicio habemos varios, habemos varios que estamos desde el inicio, pero como le digo, no tuvimos como, como un test o un cuestionario para saber en qué nivel estábamos, sino que todos comenzamos y unas estaban un poquito más arriba, ¿vale? Entonces, sí debemos de ponernos todos parejos. Yo lo entiendo y yo tengo que trabajar más en, el, en hablar, porque realmente leo y entiendo, la escucho y lo entiendo, pero hablarlo es como más difícil pensar en inglés, ¿vale? Y, uh -huh. y reglas y todo esto que hay que poner en práctica. Por ejemplo, ayer, ¿vale? Ayer, mi hermana, mi hermana es Patricia Linares, es y yo. Eh, tuvimos problemas con el internet y ya no nos pudimos conectar la clase de ayer estaba súper interesante pero no entendí por qué no estuvo entonces ahora eh, eh, ¿cómo se llama? buscar más pues porque eh, los uh, lo de las claus los uh -huh. Cuando, cuando le sucede así o algún problemita o algo, siempre acuérdese que la, la clase está siendo grabada. Puede usted revisar ahí el, el video en el canal de YouTube para Pero que... La clase no está, ¿Cuál? Ya estamos. La clase de ayer. Es que nosotros estuvimos hasta las nueve. Mm, de nueve. De, yo la subí. Deje validar que sí porque... Yo lo subí el video como a las once y media de la noche ayer. Ajá. Pues no lo hemos encontrado. Quizás no lo buscamos bien, pero no lo he encontrado. Entonces, uh -huh. eh, ya lo voy a buscar bien. Porque si sí, no, no la entendí. La clase de ayer sí. No uh -huh. Sí, por la dificultad que tuvieron de, del internet. Pero por sí, el... yo lo que les recomendaría a usted de manera pues, personal es vea eh, la Televisión, si usted ve televisión, pues véala en inglés. Inicialmente usted puede ponerle el subtítulo, pero en inglés también, ¿verdad? O sea, que usted esté leyendo ahí en inglés, escuche música, eso, para que usted pueda este, agarrar más vocabulario para cuando usted le toque hablar, porque a veces eso es lo que pasa. Alguien me dijo una vez, no, porque yo le entiendo lo que me está preguntando, pero es que no sé cómo responderle, porque no sé cómo se dice tal cosa. Ah, o sea, es porque tenemos vocabulario corto, pero eso pues tiene usted que buscar formas. Es como que yo, lo que yo les digo, cada vez que ustedes vean una palabra nueva, anótela. Anótela y no se queda solo con anotarla, sino que bueno, ya terminó la clase, anoté cinco palabras. Voy a ver qué significa eso que yo no entendí. Y como la clase siguió, ¿verdad? Yo me quedé con la duda. Busco las palabras, entiendo el significado, las pego por ahí, como les digo, y eso no se le va a olvidar. Entonces ahí usted va ganando más vocabulario para que cuando le toque hablar, tenga de dónde expresarse, ¿no? Right? Ok. Sí, bueno, yo, yo le digo, ¿ves? yo estoy entusiasmada con su pedagogía, ¿verdad? Porque la verdad es que cada, cada quien tiene su propia eh, pedagogía. Entonces, sí me parece, la verdad, de cómo nos está tratando, porque casi que no nos habla español, la mayoría es inglés. Y ahí a veces nos quedamos, ¿verdad? Pero igual tenemos que ir, como te dije. Ya, a poco, ¿no? Pues poco a poco. Después, cuando eh, sea full English, ustedes ni cuenta se van a dar. O sea, ya va a ser bien natural. Esa es la idea. Pero bueno, gracias en serio, Gloria, por el tiempo. Y, y pues, como le digo, yo trato de, de ayudarles a todos, ¿verdad? Y cualquier cosa, pues, ustedes me pueden decir. Y... Y, este, y a seguir adelante, ¿verdad? No hay que desanimarnos, esto es un proceso, todo aprendizaje lleva un tiempo, es un proceso, no es algo que de la noche a la mañana, ah, ya soy bilingüe, no, hay que, hay que poner un poquito de, de esfuerzo y es lo que ustedes están haciendo, pues, porque pues todos trabajan. Así es. 
Así es y muchas gracias. No, gracias a usted, Bye. Gloria. Pase buenas noches y nos bueno. saludamos mañana, ¿ok? Cuídense. Good night. Bye bye. Take care.